What up you lab rats? This is episode number 102. Today we're talking about giving yourself time to evolve. Stay tuned. Welcome back to The Lab, your daily inspiration for creating better content. Happy Motivation Monday. So uh, I'm just fresh back from New Media Expo. Um, I'm almost back to to feeling like I'm in the groove. I'm in the lab. Um, We've got a new kind of setup here. I'm borrowing Kevin's mic for the time being. (laughs) All of the cameras and all of the tech are gone because there are weddings going on. It is wedding season. And so I get left with all the leftovers. Um, Anyway... Uh, today's episode, I want to get into, you know, kind of the hardest thing I think, uh, that content creators go through when they're first kind of figuring out first, they make this this decision decision to be like, okay, I want to get into podcasting. What's that about? That looks really cool. That looks fun. And then you get into it. Right. And then you're like, holy crap, that's a lot to learn. (laughs) And then, and then you go through it, you learn, you pick, you cherry pick all the pieces, you learn what's up in the podcasting world or just creating content. And then you start creating content right? You start putting forward your ideas. You start putting yourself out there. Out there, And I think the hardest thing is, is just to get through that first initial part. And then that weird, awkward stage <laughs> when you're trying to figure out who you are, you're trying to figure out um, what your voice is online. You're trying to figure out what you, who you really want to speak to because you really don't have any idea. You have an idea and I bet you, I mean, if you're not blessed, like, some some people who get it right the first time you stumble around and you 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 think your customer avatar is this one person but it's really this person and you really reach out to these piece these people when you thought you were going to reach out to these people and so there, there's a whole you know slew of things that kind of happen uh, for you as a content creator you go through this awkward stage these growing pains and the hardest thing is sticking with it Okay, so what I want to talk to you guys about today is the uh, what Tim likes to call, uh, you know, that he got from this book called Bird by Bird, which I highly recommend that you read. It's a great read. It's very funny, um, but it's it's getting through the shitty drafts. Okay, so in order to become a good writer, because this is what she talks about. um, You've got to write down the shitty drafts. You've got to get through the shitty drafts and that 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 moment, that awkward growing stage. Um, it's kind of like your your first shitty drafts and you may have more than two you may have like 10 like I did and I had like 30 shitty drafts or something until I actually started to feel like I was in my I was in my vibe I was creating creating content that really resonated with with who I am and resonated with an audience that that got it (laughs) you lab rats right so uh it took a while for me to get there and is because i was distracted by a lot of things personal things outside things all kinds of things and everybody's gonna have their own situation the point is is that you realize that if you're not getting the traction that you want right you're not attaining this level of success that ever that whatever you have defined for yourself is to give yourself time to get there. Okay, so the hardest thing is getting through those those growing pains, those growing years, those transition years, whatever you want to call it, uh, the awkward stage, right? So um, it doesn't mean that you you keep churning out content that isn't really true to what you what you want to do and that isn't the best of your ability that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is that you know every every time that you create content you have it in your mind that's this intent that this may not be the best thing that I'm putting out however I know that if I keep doing this and if I keep on this path um, it will amount to something greater right because you really can only get better <laughs> from putting out uh, content and learning from your mistakes intentionally learning from your mistakes learning adjusting uh, getting better at your craft and having that intention of yes I'm going to be I'm going to get better it's not to say that everybody who starts out is going to be awful I'm not saying that either okay I'm still talking about the same things that I wanted to talk about two to three years ago when I wasn't making any traction with my content nobody was paying attention okay but that wasn't that wasn't my goal my goal was to really figure out who i was and how i was going to deliver it and to sound and look a certain way so again you know realigning your goals and figuring out okay this is what i want to do for me 
right? This is what I want to do for me. And that is defined only by me, not by not by me, not by this other person, not by me when I'm talking about Megan, uh, not by, uh, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, not by this person who's, you know, all cool and whatever. You, you define, okay, what you want to look and sound like, how you want to deliver that content, how you want to transform lives with your content and touch your audience, okay? So, that's it for today, guys, <laughs> on Motivation Monday. So I hope that that got you a little bit motivated for today. Um, if you're not, you know, if you're not getting the traction that you want, allow yourself to get better. You're getting through the shitty drafts, okay? So good things. I think we went, we're going to keep these uh, episodes nice and tight and uh, lots of new things are going on. Um, if you are interested in video podcasting, which is what I'm doing right now, um, I'm putting together a free webinar so that you guys can learn how to do it. And <laughs> it ended up being a lot more extensive than I thought. However, I'm very proud of it, actually, because I go through exactly what I do um, and, and how I do it for the video podcasting thing. So you can do it, too, if, if this is something that you're interested in. And I've had a few kind of little, you know, how do you do that? And I was like, well, it's, it's kind of hard to cover in like, you know, five minute conversation. So I put together this webinar. I want you, if you are interested, to register for it. Uh, it'll be airing in a couple of weeks. Um, and then you can you can ask questions and you can learn right along with all the other lab rats who, who register for it as well. Okay. So uh, just go to getinthelab.me slash webinar. All right. Um, good things, guys. I really appreciate you. I'm lucky to have you. Uh, good things are coming. Good things are coming. The workshop, a date will be announced very soon. I'm sorry. Uh, Kevin's quite busy, so it's been hard to, to nail him down for a date. Uh, tomorrow's episode, we're talking about five things to do before you hit publish on those videos. Okay. So I highly encourage you guys to check that one out tomorrow on Tuesday tips. Okay. Good things. Once again, my name is Megan reminding you to get in the lab. We'll see you. All right. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate you. If you're really digging the jam over here on the Get in the Lab podcast, I want you to go to getinthelab.me slash join so you can get on my newsletter list where I update you once a week on workshops, things, exclusive things, uh, random DIY things like how I made my mic flag. Um, good things like that. All right. So thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Peace.